It's called uh, Three Days Unnoticed in a Stalled High Rise Elevator. The raised metal bumps won't help. I'm not blind, but I've forgotten what the atmosphere looks like. It's either the sidewalk or the skyline, or some four walls like these. Windows with grills that smell nothing like barbecue. In China, during the Chang Dynasty, we carved in bronze what the Mesoamericans carved into stone. The stern spots of a leopard, the stripes of a tiger slanted in severe angles. Here, gargoyles guard the buildings. Myths, they call them, but I never believed. For the line that separates myth from fantasy is about what was real once. As I emerge from my metal cocoon, somewhere, in some room, I am already becoming, already metamorphosing into legend. He was zen. He must have been transcendental to spend 72 hours so placidly. And as they roll their theories up with their papers, I want to say maybe the ancients had never even seen a tiger. Maybe they imagined it, and it became. And maybe I just wanted the city to be still for a while. So when the motion of verticality ceased, I decided not to question it. Plains. I am a girl from the plains, come to the Northwoods to learn the heft of an ax, how to gather the right kindling, how to set it alight. How to stand around a campfire and make small talk. How to read the silence and the smoke. How to rely on instead of complain about the weather. The word plain never landed on anyone in northern Minnesota. Here, squirrels scritch under the house in the night. Deer leave tracks on the deck. Wolves howl in the distance. Patience slowly wends its way to panic. I beat at this life with my fists but nothing yields. Instead, simply gathers around me like curious fog in winter mornings on the vast expanses of frozen lakes. Panic swells, drums against my heart, in rhythm with the pileated pecker on the cedar outside. My heart, that hollow beast, standing like the cedar, like a sentinel, waiting to be bored into or cut into tinder for small fires that men will stand around and make small talk, spitting chaw into the deep snow, as if it were that scarce-remembered landscape of the plains. Thank you.